family-owned Greek restaurant Olive & Citron opened in NDG three years ago. During that time, family members have had to work many seven-day weeks. That's because they've struggled to find staff in the kitchen and on the service side, especially during the school year. It's affected how smoothly business has run. Sometimes we have to work on a short staff and operate, and it get, puts pressure on us to offer the quality that we want to offer. But it isn't just a problem in the restaurant industry. The shortage is affecting a wide range of fields, and Montreal has been hit especially hard. The problem is only expected to worsen with baby boomers leaving the job market. Emploi Québec forecasts that the province's 140,000 vacancies will exceed 1.4 million by 2026. Or for the, our economy as a whole, it's a dramatic situation. We need help for the government, but it's a question of demography. So we need support in training people to get people from uh, all situation in our labor market to join the labor market and of course immigration to, uh, to fill the jobs. But with the CAQ deliberately reducing immigration, the federal temporary foreign workers program has become a popular tool for businesses looking for help. Between 2017 and 2018, the number of permits issued to temporary foreign workers in Quebec rose by more than a third. But Hamel says the province needs to do more. This foreign program, a temporary foreign program, was built for temporary needs. Our needs are permanent. Quebec's Ministry of Labour says that increasing immigration alone won't solve the worker shortage. They say it will cover just 22% of the labour market's needs over the next decade. And they say that reducing immigration temporarily will actually help the job market by making sure that workers are better integrated into the workforce. Hamel proposes three solutions to solve the issue. One, youth must remain in school and be properly educated. Two, employers must broaden opportunities to include those with disabilities, the indigenous community and the elderly. And three, immigration must target the needs of the labor market. Tasco says the worker shortage is the biggest issue in the restaurant business right now. Because of it, his family has thought of using a solution enacted by other Quebec restaurants, closing for a day or two each week. But they decided that just isn't an option. Closing one or two days and with their rents skyrocketing around Montreal, it's a little bit hard to think of the solution. So we go back to the beginning that we have to put a lot of uh, personal effort to keep uh, the business running. Giordano Ciscuti, City Life, Notre Dame de Grasse.